the power and purpose, you sat down on Saturday and you crafted a mission statement. You may or may not be able to quote it right now. That's not important. What is important is that we have a larger sense of purpose, of mission in our lives. And we want to live in that way so that we can openly express the deep joy, tenderness, wildness, and strength that we have discovered within. Our missions will evolve and change over time. My mission is the expression of my deepest purpose in being alive at this moment, whatever that is. Our work over the course of the next several weeks in this pit process is to take the next steps towards removing the stuff that keeps us from our mission, our ability to give our greatest gifts to ourselves, to each other, and the world we live in. Self-doubt, fear, guilt, unworthiness, weakness, dishonesty, confusion, and mistrust. We will begin to lift the fog that separates us from our authenticity and ultimately from fulfilling the lives we want to live with others. As we do this, we usually begin to realize that our mission is a lot larger than we may have first seen. While it certainly includes being a better son, brother, husband, partner, or parent, embrace is more than that. After all, these are roles we take on in life. We are not who we are at the core. Our mission is to bring our gifts of love and service to the world in whatever situation we find ourselves, whoever we are with, whatever the circumstances. Over time, this work will affect the way you work, the way you play, love, parent, the way you live and show up in the world. And remember, what you learned on your weekend. Our mission is not a task, it's a quest. It will not be finished in your lifetime. It is a way of living, a way of being in the world, in your fullness as a man. It is always growing, never finished, never over. So now connect again to your weekend or some, to some other peak times in your life when you really felt alive and connected. And feel that. Know that. 